Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here, and welcome to the channel. Just like any other major tournament, this one in Romania did not disappoint. Many players are disappointed though. When Sega came that close, and with Levon having lost three games in four, the two tied, and of course the title was going to be decided on the tie breaks. Two games were played. What I'm covering is the decider. If this goes nowhere, the games will become shorter in time, but it wasn't to be. Levon White chose to go for something Sega is very good at playing. E4, E5, Knight of three, Knight C6, Bishop C4, Bishop C5. And you know with this Italian, these moves are repetitive. C3, Knight of six, and one move you don't often get to see is what Levon played. This is the center attack, and it's so much more exciting than the alternative D3. Once this pawn was taken off, the knight was attacked, and through a straight D5, this is what we saw. Knight E4 takes and bishop back. And now, because this knight on E4 is very hard to get rid of, this is how Levon challenged him. When Sega cancelled, this guy on D4 got supported. And when this pin appeared, Mr. Bishop got attacked. When Sega chose to preserve the bishop, look at how Levon plays this one. He clearly wants the bishop to remove the knight, but Sege avoids his line of play to avoid semi-open lines. This knight came off here, and after this move appeared, Levon took, and Sege captures with the queen. Bishop back which is a crucial response, got the rook to come in. This position you see in this Italian game is rare at high-end tournaments. I've covered thousands of games, but have never seen it. I'm not even going to check it because I'm positive about it. Levon castled. h6 and rook e1. Looks a bit restrictive, but who am I to argue? When Sagi got the queen to reposition here, I was trying to work out what he had cooking. I don't know. Bishop back is another dark move. Why did Levon go for this one? Sagi also went for something. But can you guess what this bishop came to do here? Queen d2 and Levon is doing it himself. Why queen d2 and not something else? Rook e4, bishop back. And this is how Sagi does it. He removed the knight from f3. The bishop was recaptured. In all those three to four last moves, we're not really explained. And there is a reason for that. Any ideas what Sergei, let me repeat that. Any ideas what Sergei's next move was? Once you see it, we're able to figure out it will fit like a glove. Sega used the bishop on a5 to keep the pin. And when this pawn was removed, Levon backed off the queen. The rook repositioned here. And it was Levon's turn to pull some tricks. This was one tricky move. Trying to get the queen to take this bishop. Do that. The bishop will remove this pawn. And this is also how you drop the rook. No chance for this one here. Sergei got the bishop to close in. And when this queen moved away from c2 and right into d3, can you see the tactics? To prevent what we saw earlier, the rook eliminated this bishop. But when the queen retaliated, Sergei grabs this bishop. And there has to be some error somewhere in Sergei's calculations. If anyone loses this game, the other side takes it all. 
When Le Mans sneaked in with his check, the king was forced here. And when this check appeared, Sagay knew he blew it. And because he couldn't sustain his position, he just resigned. G6 is an amazing one. You want to hear it? Let's hear it. But why is Queen G6 not good? Can anyone figure this one out? Because only then you can see how and why Sergei resigned. There is a corner check, and this is how you drop the queen. And with this decider, Levon wins super bet and adds another title under his belt. Some moves look iffy, but given these two are extremely sharp, I think the best player won in the end. I am very sorry I had to ignore the Grand Prix in Hamburg, but I hope to pick up the pace now that this tournament in Romania is over. The big surprise is not what happened at the very top, but when do you get to see the American flag at the very bottom of the standings? There is not one US flag at the bottom, but two, with Fabi ending last. I shall be back with more. So until soon, everyone, this is your chess puzzle.